Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the what is time of ascent of a projectile and what is time of descent of a projectile and what is the time of flight of a projectile. So children, this is one of the most important topics for IPE and other competitive exams. So watch very carefully. So time of ascent and then and dam, time of descent and day and dam, time of flight and day and dam. So man get time of ascent. Numbers of ascending order and day and day, low to high. Descending order and day and day, high to low. Like that here, when in case of a projectile, the motion of the projectile should be along a parabolic path. So already we proved the trajectory of projectile is a parabola. So, manaki projectile and a parabolic pathway will tundi. So, you could have manaki border of the motion of the projectile should be shown like this here. What it is? O is the point of projection. E point, the government projectile projects napudu, adi O, A, B. And this path low, move a ground reach out tundi. Reach out to napudu at a point A, vertical velocity component becomes zero. At this point, the vertical velocity component is zero. So, ma'am, in the previous video, what is maximum height? At which height of your projectile, the vertical velocity component is zero. That should be what we call as maximum height. So, you can O is the point of projection, A is the maximum height, and again, B is the final point of the body projectile. So, clear. You can O is the point of projection. E point of projection nunchi maximum height ki reach out ani patte time evite untundo dani manam time of ascent antam clear the time taken by the projectile to reach the maximum height from point of projection that is what we call time of ascent and in the same manner the time taken by the projectile the time taken by the projectile to reach the ground to reach the ground from maximum height of a projectile so, E maximum height nunchi ground reach out and ki evete time padutundo dani manam time of descent and down. Very simple ascending order and day low nunchi high kiltunam. Descending order and day and pi nunchi malikin the kosunam. High nunchi low kosunam. I wish I could have a point confusion under the time taken by the body to reach the maximum height from the point of projection is called time of ascent and the time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from the maximum height is called time of descent so children time of ascent ni manam t tho chupistam time of descent ni td tho chupistamo so adhe definition ikkada raasi chudandi the time taken by the projectile to reach the maximum height from its point of projection is called time of ascent and time of ascent denoted by the symbol ta so now we have to derive the expression for now time of Ascent. Let's go. Let the equation of motion, equation of motion, v is equals to u plus a t. V is equals to u plus a t. In this case, we have to write. We are talking about the point of relation to the maximum height. Maximum height. That's why we are explaining the motion of the body with respect of y-axis. That's why we have to write V Y is equals to U Y plus A T. Clear children. So, manam time of ascent chapter na maunte manam dhani ek height comparison ng abati we will take the motion should be along with respect of y axis. So, ekda manam dhani se kada V Y is equals to is what it is zero here. What it is V Y is equals to zero. Endu ko at maximum height final velocity is 0 and now vertical velocity is 0 and now horizontal velocity u y is equal to what u sin theta and a is equal to what minus g and t is equal to t is equal to t a so e value is not a substitute and v y is what 0 0 is equal to u y means what u sin theta u sin theta plus of a means what minus g and is t a if you get 0 is equal to u sin theta minus g into ta. 
सो आ टर्म डी स्क्वे अब जी इंटू टी एक्वल टू यू सैन थीटा अने मन टी अंत रास्ता टीएक्व टू यू सैन थीटा बै जी सो दिश चिल एक्सप्रेसन फर् टाइम आफ् ऐसे टीएक्व टू यू सैन थीटा बै जी सो मन की इक सें थिंग यू अंडे प्रोजेक्टेड वेलासीटी मैं एंत वेलासीटी तो प्रोजेक्टो आ वेलासीटी अंड थीटा वाल्यू ऐंगि प्रोजेक्शन आटोमेट मन टाइम आफ ऐसे फैंड चयु सो इन दिश के आलो वर्डर टीएस प्रपोर्शनल टू यू सैन थीटा क्लियर चिल्ड्रन सो दिस्ज एक्सप्रेसिंग फर् टाइम आफ ऐसे नव वी कैन गो फर् एक्सप्रेस फर् टाइम आफ डीसे नव वी हाव टू डेरव दि एक्सप्रेस फर् टाइम आफ डीसे Starting of the video only, I told you what is time of descent. The time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from its point of projection. That should be called time of descent. The diagram below, A is the maximum height point and B is the ground again. The time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from its point of projection. That is what we call time of descent. And the time of descent is denoted by T D. And time of ascent is T A. So the delivery here, the time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from its maximum height is called time of descent. And the time of descent is divided by T D. Children, now we have to derive the expression for time of descent. Already we know that equation of motion. Let let the equation of motion. What it is? S is equals to U D plus of A T square. S equals U D plus of A T square. From A to B, it is taken as a freely falling body. From A to B, it is taken as a freely falling body. So in this case here, in this case, we will take S is equals to H and U is equals to U I and that is equals to zero and A is equals to plus G. A is equals to plus G G because it is coming in the direction of gravitational force. Gravitational force A direction along to another direction along to another. But A is equals to plus G this come down and T is equals to obviously T D. Now we have to substitute all those values in that equation. What do you get? S is equals to H. That means what? Capital H is equals to zero into T plus half into G into T D square. So now here, what right? H is equals to zero. Into everything is zero. Then what right? H is equals to half G T D square. Children. So already we know that what is H maximum height? Maximum height value what is H is equals to U square sine square theta by two G. Now this is the expression for maximum height, and that is going to be substituted here. Then what we get, children? Simply what we get? H is what? U square sine square theta by 2g is equals to half into g into t d square. Clear, children? So in this case, what have to say? These two and these two cancel. Then what we get? U square sine square theta by. We will write. We are bringing g to this side. Then what write? G into g. That means what? G square. That is equals to what? T D square. And this will be as u square sine square theta by g square. That is equals to T D square. Children, from that we will write T D square is equals to u sine theta by g all square. अर्थात् ना u square sin square theta by g square equals to what? Chu t d square rasa na. Then in chhuvanam t d square is equals to u sin theta by g all square rasa na. So square square cancel. Then what do you get children? T d is equals to what do you get children? T d is equals to u sin theta by g. So children, this is the expression for time of descent. Time of descent. Children, already what we proved time of ascent also u sin theta by g. Now T D also U sine theta by G. Ante point of projection nici maximum height reach orang ini. Time berdua tu maximum height nici mali ground reach orang mula ante time berdua tu ni. So kawat in this case what we proved T A is equal to T D. Time of ascent is equal to time of descent. Clear children. 
you have to remember this point dear students now we have to derive the expression for time of flight what is mean by time of flight when a projectile is moving in the path of parabolic path the total time spent by the projectile in air throughout its motion is called time of flight oka projectile anedi project chesina appu nunchi malli ground reach ayinta varaku kuda enta time gaali lo untundo danni manam time of flight antam simple ga cheppalante sum of time of ascent and time of descent that should be called time of flight look here children so this is the point of projection and this is the maximum height point of projection nunchi maximum height em antam time of ascent antam నెక్స్ట్ మ్యాక్సిమం హైట్ నుంచి గ్రౌండ్ ఏమన్నా టైమ్ ఆఫ్ డిసెండ్ అన్నాం సో అంటే ప్రొజెక్ట్ చేసినప్పటి నుంచి మళ్ళీ గ్రౌండ్ రీచ్ అయిన వరకు కూడా ఆ ఎంత టైం అయితే ఏరియా ఉంటుందో దాన్ని మనం ఏమంటాం టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లైట్ అంటాం సో మనకి సింపుల్ చెప్పాలంటే ఒక జర్నీ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు అప్పు డౌన్ అంటాం మీరు ఇప్పుడు కాలేజీకి బయలుదేరారు ఇంటికాడ నుంచి ఇంటికాడ నుంచి కాలేజీకి వచ్చారు అప్పు నెక్స్ట్ అగైన్ కాలేజ్ నుంచి ఇంటికి వెళ్తున్నారు సో అప్పుడు మనం ఏమంటాం డౌన్ అంటాం ఆ రెండు గెలిపితే ఏమవుతుంది టైమ్ ఆఫ్ జర్నీ ఒక జర్నీ అవుతుంది సో అట్లనే ఇక్కడ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ నుంచి మ్యాక్సిమం హైట్కి మ్యాక్సిమం హైట్ నుంచి మళ్ళా గ్రౌండ్కి రీచ్ అవడానికి పట్టే టైంని ఏమంటామంటే టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లైట్ అంటాం ఆ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లైట్ని మనం క్యాపిటల్ టీతో చూపిస్తాం క్యాపిటల్ టీతో టీ అంటే టైమ్ ఆఫ్ యాసెంట్ టీడీ అంటే టైమ్ ఆఫ్ డిసెంట్ సో టీ క్యాపిటల్ టీ అంటే టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లైట్ సో ఆల్రెడీ మనం ప్రూవ్ చేసాం ఏంటి టైమ్ ఆఫ్ యాసెంట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు టైమ్ ఆఫ్ డిసెంట్ సో కాబట్టి టీ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు యు సైన్ థీటా బై జి ప్లస్ యు సైన్ థీటా బై జి దట్ మీన్స్ ఆల్రెడీ చిల్డ్రన్ క్యాపిటల్ టీ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లైట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు టూ యు సైన్ థీటా బై జి టూ యు సైన్ థీటా బై జి సో చిల్డ్రన్ దిస్ ఈ ద ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఫర్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ డిసెంట్ and time of ascent and time of flight so this is the expression for time of flight t is equals to 2u sin theta by g clear children so children if you can understand this topic like share comment the video and subscribe my channel to get all the notifications children mana channel lo intermediate sambandhina physics first year second year anni videos upload cheyadam jarugutundi at the same time ఎంసెట్ నీట్కి సంబంధించిన వీడియోస్ కూడా అప్లోడ్ చేయడం జరుగుతుంది అందుకే మన ఛానల్ని సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి రెగ్యులర్గా ఫాలో అవుతుండండి ప్రెస్ ద బెల్ ఐకాన్ టు బెల్ ఐకాన్ని ప్రెస్ చేయండి ఓకేనా థ్యాంక్ యూ